It was a double killing that rocked France. On the 13th of June 2016, a police officer couple were murdered in their home. On that day, Jessica Schneider, an administrator at the police station in mont le 60 kilometres west of Paris, was going home to nearby Magnanville with her three-year-old son. A man was lying in wait inside the house where he slit her throat. Her partner, Jean-Baptiste Salvin, a police commander at a different station, was still at work. When he in turn returned home, he was stabbed multiple times by the attacker who had been hiding behind the gate. It was the first time the police that a police couple were killed in terrible circumstances at home, off duty. The suspect barricaded himself inside their home, taking their toddler son hostage. He was quickly identified as Lerossi Abala. The 25-year-old had previously served time for his part in a scheme to send French jihadists to Pakistan. Surrounded by police, he began broadcasting live on Facebook, admitting to the double killing and claiming allegiance to the Islamic State group. Tactical officers moved in and shot him dead, rescuing the victim's son. During the subsequent investigation, police came to believe that Abala had not acted alone. Suspicion fell on a childhood friend, Mohamed Lamine Abarouz. Investigators found his DNA at the scene of the crime. Abarouz's lawyers say it's not proof he was at the house. This was a DNA transfer. The DNA traces of Mohamed Abarouz were on the gloves or hands of Larossi Abala. With Abala dead, Abarouz is the only person to be prosecuted for the crime. Seven years after the killings, the 30-year-old is now going on trial at the Special Criminal Court in Paris. He could face life in prison.